here's the progress I lowered sway bar itself I'm gonna be changing these bushings it seems like these factory bushings they don't have a cut in it so I'm gonna have to cut that because the new ones come with that they have a cut in them so for easy installation and I'm ready to take all these control arms out now I have to disconnect the strut here on the bottom too all the suspension torn apart these wires are okay this brake hose is on t under tension but i'll be changing that so now i gotta figure out how to get these things out i can't fit my fit pickle fork in there or anything pain so i'm gonna figure out how to you know loosen these ball joints putting anti-seas on all these bolts Right now I'm gonna change this brake hose, that uh, ATE brake hose. I'm gonna go right here. Hopefully I don't have to take the caliper out. <laughs> I'm gonna try to just sneak it out without taking it out. I'm not gonna lie, I'm tired of this shit show. Like, what the hell is this? This freaking sway bar bushing. Like, I can't get it out. I'm cutting it, cutting it, cutting it. It just doesn't even move at all made this freaking car man literally not mechanic friendly whatsoever these controllers were not that bad to install actually in our place but man sweep bushings are annoying <coughs> yep got this brake hose replaced looking nice I have to bleed the brakes afterwards but I still have three more uh, brake hoses to replace. All right, so it took me forever. I had to scrape a bunch of this rubber off. Look at all these pieces of rubber. So that side's probably gonna be even worse. I don't know. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint this thing right now. Installing a new filter. This one, as you can see, is pretty tired. I have to clean everything around here. It's not the worst shape, but it's getting clogged up pretty bad, so I'm changing it. Everything around here is cleaned up, ready to install a brand new filter made in Germany. Okay, now I'm doing, I'm gonna change the brake hose on this side. Right here, and the reason why is there's a bunch of cracking starting on it. Not safe. Time to change it. Pretty sure it's original, never been changed. All right, so I first disconnected from there and then from the caliper like this. Oops. Yeah, it's definitely ha definitely has uh, stress cracking. Cool. Got new one. Gonna start installing the new one on the caliper first. And then once you install it on the caliper, you're gonna tighten it. Cool. And then install it here. There you guys have it. Fresh brake hose. Brake pads are still good, rotors. Everything is fine. These could probably use a replacement, the sweet bar bushings. Yeah, that's okay for now. Alright, it's really late at night, but I need to keep going with this car. So I'm changing these two control arms and I might start doing the steering system. Notice this sway bar link is actually has a torn boot, so I'm gonna have to change sway bar links on this car as well. Yeah, so basically then almost the entire front suspension is going to be brand new, excluding the struts. Alright, so I'm just replacing those holes, installing this end first, and then the other one's going to go right there. Alright guys, so 
I installed everything, cleaning everything up right now. Now, I put silicone paste right there. As you can see, this grommet is super important. It's really important that it's there. Okay, and I uh, just put silicone paste in there just so it stays preserved and all that. And yeah, everything is nice and tightened up. I'll just have to do the brake flush or just bleed the brakes someday on it once I'm done with the rest of the suspension steering stuff. Now I'll be working on the steering system of this car. So we'll get the inner tie rods and outer tie rods in there. All right, so I just got this boot off and clamps. That's the tie rod. Actually has some play. Yep, it does. This whole stuff does not look the best. So I gotta clean this. That's crazy. I'm gonna throw it from this thing. Yeah, but inner tie rods are bad. Alright, so I had to use this inner tie rod tool. Finally got this loosened up. Don't forget, you actually have to hold with a 22 millimeter wrench. You have to hold this steering rack. You don't want to break the steering rack off. It's nice, uh, W203 provides that. So we're gonna take this guy off. It's actually worn, this uh, tie rod. It had play, so we're gonna install a new one. And I'm gonna clean everything here nicely, actually. I wanna clean some of this corrosion off too. So the original part was actually Mercedes-Benz, right there. I'm gonna install Lem Forder brand. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of anti-seize there. I'm gonna go ahead and install that baby. Don't you love fresh parts? It's amazing. So while it's here, we're gonna add some grease to these splines right here and actually probably everywhere else so it doesn't continue rusting this bad boy. Just gonna kinda add grease everywhere. Like so. You can extend it more too if you want. Yeah. It's really good stuff. Like this. Perfect. Okay, I got the boot installed right there. Now we're installing the outer tie rod. Okay, everything is installed here. And some silicone paste on the boot to preserve it. Same with those guys. Remember to torque those only, only when it's actually on the ground, fully on the ground, bounce the car up and down a little bit. All right, last thing I'm gonna have to deal with is the mm, sway bar. And then these are actually super bad sway bar links. I didn't notice at first, but this one is actually bad, has play. I'm gonna order new ones. Basically, the entire front suspension is gonna be brand new, except the struts. The struts are okay. I got this side almost out. I'm gonna be reusing these clamps like I did on the other side because there's nothing really wrong with it. If you carefully take it off, you can reuse it actually. So, I'm gonna do that. Now, we're gonna take this boot off. Just be careful, this boot can be just a little tired or stuck. Don't on it too hard so this side is actually pretty clean comparing to the other one but this inner tie rod is tired a little bit just slide them up play you can't really feel it but it's there just really small tiny amount okay so a good thing with changing all this all right this tie rod is ready to go all installed getting ready to install the boot now nothing wrong with the boot i'm gonna reuse that all right finally reinstalled everything everything's tightened up i'm still gonna have to kind of adjust this uh, alignment a little bit you know eyeball it before he goes to an alignment shop but everything else all the clamps everything is back together looking amazing i'll just have to finish up with the sway bar 
and swivel links, all that. Got the sway bar painted in these spots and got these new bushings I'm gonna go on right here. Added a bunch of silicone paste. I'm not gonna add this bushing. Bleeding front brakes now and adjusting wheel bearings. All right, guys, we got last few pieces for this car sway bar links, they're gonna go in the front. Suspension and everything's gonna be done after that basically. So and uh, I adjusted the alignment to the best of my ability using an old-school Method with a string. So Yeah, just have to reinstall these uh, sway links brand new ones. The old ones were bad.